Cycling is a great way to um, travel to school, particularly to St Peter's. We are very fortunate in Exeter to have many designated cycle routes and shared pedestrian and cycle paths. Now I know that many of you have done bike ability in your primary school and year sevens have done that at St Peter's. And also many of you enjoy cycling with your friends and family. So why not travel to school on your bike? Now, before setting off, there are a few things that you need to check. Number one, your brakes, two, your tires, and three, your gears. It's important that your bike is ready to travel to school on. You also need to have a bit of a checklist in terms of equipment. Do you have a helmet? Okay, does it fit properly? And is it on your head? It's no use if it's dangling on your handlebars. Do you have a bike lock so that when you get to school you can secure your bike um, safely? Do you have some lights? Particularly if you're staying to extracurricular clubs, you'll need those to be travelling home. And fourthly, do you have a bell on your bike? Okay, this is great for indicating to pedestrians particularly um, who you are sharing a path with that you are coming up behind them. And then the final thing in preparation for cycling is are you dressed appropriately? Are you visible? Our St Peter's School uniform is navy, so dark in colour, and it's not always easy to see. Also, if your school uniform is a barrier to you cycling to school, maybe because you've got a skirt to wear, then all you need to do is wear something appropriate and make sure that you are changed into your school uniform correctly before tutor time. Now, cycling is great, but you need to take some personal responsibility for your safety and those around you when you are cycling. Please, please wait for the green man at a crossing. You might think it's safe to cross, but you may not be aware of cars coming from a different direction. Stop and look at junctions and be aware of those that are also using a path, particularly where it's a blue sign shared pedestrian and cycle route. Now, here is a possible route for you to try um, into school from where you live. Now, you might think, hmm, this is a long way round, but you cover the distance much, much quicker when you are traveling on a flat cycle route with less junctions. And also one thing to remember is if you cycled uphill on the way to school, that means you get a nice downhill on the way home. So get a group of friends together and uh, go out for a ride and check out your cycle route to school. So at St Peter's we're fortunate to have um, a bike shed where you can lock your bike up. Um, as you can see the sign says all items are left entirely at the owner's risk. During the day the bike shed is locked and you can access the key from main reception if you need to leave for any reason. 
Um, the main office also have um, a few essential repair items. So there is a pump um, and there are some bike tools in case you need to adjust anything once you've got to school. Now, coming into the bike shed, it's important that we lock our bike securely. Okay, so using something like a D-lock, which is pretty indestructible, okay, to lock your bike. Making sure that it goes through the post, the wheel, and through the frame, so that you can then lock your bike securely to the post. Okay. Remember to take anything else off your bike during the day, so if you've got your lights on your bike, you need to take that off. Um, any water bottles and uh, your helmet as well. You can take that into school and pop it in your locker to stay there during the day.